Hi, it's Steph here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be talking about the four Bridging PharmD programs currently offered in Canada as of September 2022. Thank you so much, Ken, for the video idea. The four programs that I'll touch on in this video would be University of Toronto, University of Alberta, University of British Columbia, and Memorial University in Newfoundland. The first program that I'll talk about is the one offered in the University of Toronto. This program started in 2004, making it the most established Bridging PharmD program in Canada. They have two intake cycles a year, meaning students can choose to start in either September or January of every year. Just pay attention to the application deadline because they do differ. This is a part-time program, and most of it can be done online. It will take you anywhere from two and a half to four years to complete this program, and they do have a 20-week uh, rotation or experiential training requirement. The tuition cost as of September 2022 is around $35,000. The University of Alberta's Bridging PharmD program has been around since at least 2017. It wasn't really clear on their website when they started, but I believe this is the second most established program in Canada. They have two intake cycles a year. Students can choose to start in either September or January, but there is only one application deadline per year. It is a part-time program, and most of the program can be completed online, similar to the one in Toronto. It will take from anywhere uh, of one and a half to five years to complete. And they do have a slightly longer experiential training or rotation requirement uh, with a duration of up to 36 weeks. The total cost or the tuition of the program as of September 2022 is around $30,000. The University of British Columbia's Bridging PharmD program is relatively new compared to Toronto's and Alberta's. I believe they started around 2017 to 2019-ish. It wasn't clear on their website. They do have one intake cycle only a year, and that is in January. On their website, they state that they enroll around 30 students a year. It is also a part-time program, and the program can be completed mostly online. You can take up to six years to complete this program. They do have an experiential training and rotation requirement of up to 26 weeks, and their tuition cost is around $42,000 a year as of September 2022. Last up, we have Memorial University's Bridging PharmD program in Newfoundland. This program started in 2018, so it is relatively newer compared to Toronto and Alberta's. They have one intake cycle a year in September, it is also a part-time program, and most of the program can also be completed online. It will take you anywhere from three to up to five years to complete, and they do have a shorter rotation or experiential training requirement compared to the rest of 12 weeks. Their tuition as of May 2017 is $27,000, so you may need to email them to double-check what the tuition is uh, of the year that you're applying. So this is my summary of Canada's Bridging PharmD programs as of September 2022. I believe Canada will follow U.S.'s suit in the sense that when most pharmacists with their Bachelor of Pharmacy degree gets bridged over to their PharmD, they're going to start phasing out these programs one by one. So if you're interested in applying for them, I would suggest that you do it sooner rather than later. The core curriculum of most of these programs are very similar. They all have a component of a foundational course, critical appraisal course, physical examination course, various advanced pharmacotherapy courses, and an experiential training component. I'll link you to the website of these programs in the video description below. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop me a comment as well. I hope you found this video helpful, and I hope to see you in my next video. Till next time, bye for now.